Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you something very quick. Um, how to switch your DSP, this is back to black. How to switch it and look at all the different color. It is awesome and it is quick. So you can have different color or here's another one in that pack see the back was that design so it's all white and uh, black this paper so you can add colors like this one i use the green the orange and then the yellow so that would be <clears throat> uh, by the way it's not marker it's blendability so it worked awesome for that and the, here it was the the rich razzle berry, I think it is. Yeah, rich razzle berry. And so let's get started. So you're going to decide the, uh, I think I show you this one too. You're going to decide which print that you want. And let's say today I'm going to work with Coastal Cabano. You can start with the lightest color if you want. Let's say that I'm going to go here, start with the lightest. And then, um, well, I'm sorry. You can start with the darkest color first. I like to start with the da darkest color first. So I can start with the darker color and then come back with the lightest and then just blend it. And to be honest, it don't blend like our regular paper. It still blend, but not like uh, the way uh, our regular uh, white cardstock blend. Or you can take your brush and then let's say you want all one color you can color it all so then you don't even have to be uh, careful you know you can color it all another thing that you can uh, do let's say you want the outside a little bit darker you can start with your darker and just do your outline like this let's go a few of them so you can see what i'm talking about like this and then come back with your brush and just blend it and when you blend the brush it's not the best friendly one to blend with i like to have this uh, sharper tip the smaller tip but it still work you can see maybe i should bring it closer you can see you get the two tone there it's just that it will not blend like another uh, white cardstock it still blend but not the same so that's how I add color to my um, cards, uh, not cardstock, but designer paper, black to black. This one here, when I color this one over here, when I was done, it looked like it looked darker where I passed. So I went through the whole thing pretty much and wipe it, not wipe it, but, you know, color the black. But I I think that if I would have... Uh, wait patiently it would have went away it's because it was kind of still wet so see you just color here and there so that's a way that you can add color and you don't have to color the whole thing you can just color a few pieces here and there just to add some pop on the paper so and they tried to give us something black and white and we decide we want colors it's kind of funny because we get color and we want black and white so that is it how i add uh, the color to uh, my uh, paper to my designer series paper and again that's black uh, back to black paper hope you learned something new till next time happy stamping my friends